Africa bears nine global biodiversity hotspots. It's home to over 60,000 different plants and a myriad of animals and microorganisms. BMZ is worldwide the biggest provider of biodiversity finance, specifically for megadiverse developing countries. It goes back to a commitment in the late zero years, 2008, when we committed to increase our budget. And it, the last numbers we had was an annual sum of 1 billion euros. And I think it's needed to support our developing country partners in providing help for conserving their biodiversity. The economic potential of biodiversity-based products on the African continent still remains largely untapped. South Africa is one of the mega diverse uh, countries uh, in the world and therefore the use of our natural resources is very important. Our policy drive aligns with the uh, Convention of Biological Diversity which ensures that uh, whilst we are conserving, there's also sustainable use of our natural resources and also ensuring that access and benefits are shared. The Marula tree, present in many Southern African countries, is a good example for the potential of biodiversity-based products. Here in the Eodafanu Women's Cooperative in Northern Namibia, Marula is still harvested the traditional way. Apart from being used as food and juice, the kernels are processed to extract valuable oil. When we were kids, our parents always used to tell us how valuable marula is. When you crack the fruit, they said, you can make oil and sell it. But always be sure to keep some marula at home and eat it together with chicken. <laughs> the Nagoya protocol has certain rules how to share benefits out of the use of biological resources. And therefore the implementation of this Nagoya protocol is key for BMZ. And that starts on the local level. Therefore our focus is always coming from the global uh, agreements down to the local level. Access and benefit sharing ensures that countries and ecosystems that provide genetic resources benefit when plants, animals and microorganisms are accessible to research and product development. We do have a variety of plant species that lend themselves to bioprospecting and biotrade sector. This includes um, the marula tree. I grew up eating marula um, and also drinking marula juice. Um, uh, there's, we also have a uh, rooibos, which is a health tea, especially for the international markets. Few people know more about rooibos than Bar and Salamur from the Wuppertal Original Rooibos Cooperative in the Western Cape region of South Africa. This area, it's full of rooibos wild population. The highest density of wild population in this whole production area in South Africa is here in Wuppertal. Rooibos is who we are, what we are. It is part of our culture, so you, you can't talk about rooibos without including these people that live here, that stay here for so many generations. And that is why I was so excited to take part in this access and benefit sharing after the acknowledgement of the TK, that, it, that the, the Khoi and the Sun people, they are the, the, the knowledge holders, the traditional holders of, of the Ruebos. It's a question of uh, general justice. You cannot allow enterprises doing something uh, economically viable without sharing it with, uh, with those countries who actually uh, hosted this uh, part of the world heritage, the biodiversity. The knowledge that we do have is now acknowledged by, by the industry. And I must tell you, when that happened, to acknowledge it in public, it is just if we get something of our dignity back. We would 
like uh, communities to participate in the development and the beneficiation of this biodiversity product. This includes that firstly they are able to share in their indigenous knowledge in respect of uh, the use of those plants, uh, but also to ensure that when they enter into trading uh, with these uh, natural resources, we facilitate the relationship that they need to enter with um, uh, any private sector developer that may want to beneficiate this product a little bit further. Warren Salemur meets Ulrich Feiter, founder of the pharmaceutical company Parcival, which has been engaged in biotrade for more than 25 years. Do you know this plant? This one? Yeah. I actually know. In, in our language, we call it um, lettuce boss. When you cut it, you ferment it yeah. and you dry it in the right conditions with milk. Wow. This plant you can't cultivate because it is a parasitic plant. Their roots live on these other's roots to oh, get really? their food. If you only do have this on one plot, then it will just die away. So it must stand in between all the other, all the other uh, plants here. The Southern Africa or African plant resources are of, of interest to international markets simply because the customers at the end of the day are looking for novel and innovative products. And that answers a demand from developed nations where flavorants are expected to be more and more natural. So traditional knowledge is there to inform us about these kind of qualities and indications. It needs, however, in our modern world, the combination of taking the traditional knowledge and actually developing it further, much further. Marta Nepembe. The women of the Eodafano Cooperative happily accept this challenge. Working with the cooperative is good for us. Without it, we would not be able to sell the harvested nuts from the marula trees anywhere else. Marta Negumbo, manager of the organization, is proud of what's been achieved. Eurofano Women's Cooperative benefits close to 2,500 rural women. In Namibia, we're the only registered women's cooperative that is doing this type of activities. That is part of our heritage. That is what we've been doing. We've been eating marula oil. We can produce close to 90 kilograms of oil per day. Annually, we can go up to 12 tons of oil. That will also depend on the demand from the customers. And this type of oil is mainly used for cosmetics. We normally ship to customers that are into cosmetics industry, and they use it to, into formulating various skincare products. This has been established over 22 years back. So the cooperative has been in existence and those has, has lived here before us have kept the wheel running and that is basically also our mission because we want to be the leading cooperative, let's say in the whole world. Biotrade has got a number of multiple benefits. Firstly, it's at a broad scale it addresses rural development in the sense that most of these products are found in rural areas. Secondly is we know that most people that are in the rural areas are women and therefore gender empowerment uh, is a very important aspect of biotrade sector. Then it also brings it about skills and the sharing of the knowledge that exists um, amongst the traditional knowledge holders. And further to this is that as we beneficiate this uh, bioprospecting products, there's an opportunity to be innovative in respect of the type of technologies that can be used to develop these uh, bio-based products. Like this mobile device that can already extract pulp and juice right where the marula is harvested. Once consumers in Europe elsewhere know along the value chain that these were biodiversity friendly produced products, uh, they might easier make a decision to go for these kind of products. 
an opportunity for the producers, for the buying industries and for biodiversity. We are also looking to match local producers with companies uh, in Europe and by that giving the local producers access to the, to the European market. It worked well. You are already uh, brought 100,000 hectares uh, under biodiversity friendly production uh, and with this we generated more green jobs and I think that is a more than a double win situation. A testing at Simrise, global supplier of fragrances, flavors, food, nutrition and cosmetic ingredients. Ulrich Feiter and his colleagues brought new samples from Southern Africa. I mean, you, you get the, the, the marula definitely. Mm -hmm. It is fruity, but very soft and delicate. So it could be really um, of use in, in cosmetic formulations. So. Definitely, yeah. Marula is highly interesting um, to our company because it's really a multifunctional ingredient. It has unique functional properties um, for our cosmetic ingredients divisions, but also unique olfactive and flavoristic properties, which would make it a powerful ingredient for novel and inspiring flavor and fragrance creations. Thanks to Simrise and other companies, Marula oil has already found its way into a variety of cosmetic products. On the local level you create jobs, communities are benefiting from that and that's always the best advice how you can protect biodiversity once it has a value, people will take care about it. At Eodafanu and in Wuppertal, people are already well aware of the treasures their biodiversity has to offer. The Marula tree is our heritage of wealth, a great source of wealth. I love this because this is for us, this heaven, this is home, this is where we want to live and to make our own thing, to, to become proud and independent again and roam this land. <laughs>